The number one question that most educators ask me is, Cantus, how can I keep my students motivated? And believe it or not, the number one question I'm asked from students is, Cantus, how can I stay motivated in school? Well, in this video today, I wanted to share with you my advice on how you can help your students stay motivated so that they can achieve more this school year. Hey, what's up? I'm Cantor Simmons, academic success coach and leading authority on student achievement, as well as the author of Playing Your A Game. And you know, over the last decade, I've had the great pleasure of working with teachers, parents, educators, school districts, and students. And the number one question that most educators ask me is, Cantus, how can I keep my students motivated? And believe it or not, the number one question I'm asked from students is, Cantus, how can I stay motivated in school? Well, in this video today, I wanted to share with you my advice on how you can help your students stay motivated so that they can achieve more this school year. Now, whether you're a teacher, educator, parent, or friend of a student, I believe that in this video, you could learn maybe one or two things that you could potentially use to help your students achieve more. Now, let's establish from the beginning that students have a very small attention span. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, sometimes I even have a small attention span. But what do you do to help them stay motivated in school? Right now, as a teacher, as an educator, I believe that above any other school program that your district may have, you have the power to influence your student more than anyone else. Why do I say that? Because you're on the front line. You're the person that can influence them to understand, help them understand now, help them understand today, help them understand in the classroom. I've often asked myself, why is motivating students such a big challenge? Well, I believe that it's a big challenge because students today feel like everyone is trying to be their teacher. You have some people who are trying to get them to think right, work hard, and be something that the world is proud of. But you know what? Students have a policy. And if you don't understand this policy, you can completely turn off a student. And the policy is this. I will only allow you to influence me if you can prove that you're worth it. Now, what does that mean? That simply means that students, they look for people that they can trust in and people that they believe are worth their time and their energy. I often ask myself, why is it that certain celebrities, certain music artists, certain, certain video games or activities can hold the t attention of a student? Because that student feels like that person, that game, that they're worth it. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 7.25 ways to help your students stay motivated. Now this is going to be a two-part video series. I'm going to give you a few of these ways first and another video I'll give you the second part of this. Are you ready? Number one is this. Help your students understand their why. Now if we look at the word motivation, the root word of the word motivation is motive. I like to look at motive of, or motivation as the motor that keeps a person moving forward. What's the motive behind your student being in school? What's their big why? Ask them, why are you in school? Why do you want to accomplish a certain degree or receive a certain de degree? Why do you want to go into this career field? Why do you want to be successful in life? Now, if a student can attach their why to their motivation, then they can move forward. So what I've created for myself and other students is what I call the motivation creed. Now, right below this video, I have this motivation creed where you can download it, but I want you to see this so that you can share this with your students and have them fill in the blanks. The motivation creed goes like this. I blank want to obtain a degree in blank so that I can help 
blank, accomplish blank. One more time. I, you have them say their name, want to, a, want to obtain a degree in blank so that I can help blank identify the person or the industry or the niche so that blank can accomplish and then have them fill in that big goal. Pretty cool, right? That's what I call the motivation creed. Because if your students can understand their big why, they won't have a problem moving forward or staying motivated to accomplish their big why. Here's number two. Praise students, whether it's big or whether it's small. Everyone in life loves to receive rewards. Wouldn't you agree? So if you want to praise your students, how about taking the time to acknowledge when they've done a great job in school? What about writing a handwritten note to their parent to acknowledge the great work they've done in school? Another great idea to praise students, whether big or small, if a student uh, does something that you may feel is noteworthy, why not feature them in your school's newsletter or maybe on the school's website? How about developing what I call the, 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 the teacher shout out board where maybe once a week or twice a week you could create a board where you could absolutely just give praise to your students and give them a good shout out. Everyone loves to be rewarded, a.k.a. receive kudos, a.k.a. receive props. And students love that a whole lot. The third way to help your students stay motivated in school is for you to stand out. As I mentioned earlier, students want to see that you're worth it. I want you to think for a second. Look at your own academic career. Think about all the teachers and the professors that you had. Can you name at least 50 educators that stood out to you and made an impact in your life personally? What about 20? What about 10? Can you name five educators that stood out to you that you can remember clearly that made an impact in your life? Well, believe it or not, you probably can't remember five, but you can probably remember three or maybe one person. And I guarantee you that one person stood out in such a way that they impacted you and they made a difference. Here are a few things that you can do to stand out to help your students stay motivated. And you can download these as well. Number one, be vocal. Have an opinion and make sure you submit it at an appropriate time. Avoid talking too much and being too opinionated. You need to come off as someone that's informative, intelligent, and a person who is not afraid to speak their mind, not someone who is arrogant and self-centered. So it's okay to be vocal. Number two is to be passionate. Be passionate about what you're talking about. Uh, wide eyes and a smile and a grin that goes a long way where a student is concerned. Even if you're not interested in your subject, just by you being passionate about the subject, your students will see that and because of that, they're now passionate about the subject. A third way to stand out is to be energetic. Now we've all heard the phrase that enthusiasm is contagious. I'm saying to you, when you come to class, almost bounce off the wall. Not literally bounce off the wall, but bounce off the wall in such a way that you can completely take over the atmosphere of that class. And those students that may come to your class who are slothful because of your energy, you've just taken the classroom atmosphere to a new level. The fourth way to stand out is to bend a few rules. Now, this requires a bit of care, but it tends to really establish the trust that you need between yourself and a student. For example, let's say there's a student that constantly comes in with their homework late, constantly comes in uh, not completing their assignment. You could bend the rule and actually pull that student to the side and try to figure out what's the problem they're having and take some time to give them extension on the assignment to show them that you care. Yeah, you're bending the rules just enough to get their attention, but also show them that you really want them to succeed. Another way to stand out is to go the extra mile. 
if you do it just once. Let's say, for example, that the average teacher would give a test, a student would fail the test, and that would be the final grade. But you could go the extra mile to pull those students aside who maybe who didn't do a good job on the test and have them take the test over again and you go over each question one by one. You help them do the research. You discuss the research. You go through line upon line helping them understand why they got the test question wrong. But because you're going the extra mile, you're helping them understand why. You're helping them understand what they can do differently next time when they take the test. So those are a few ways that you can stand out. Be vocal, be passionate, be energetic, bend the rules a little bit, and go the extra mile. Now, the fourth way to help your students stay motivated is to expect excellence only. Recently, I was at a school, and in this school district, they had an expectation. The expectation was that 95% of the students in this district will graduate on time. Everybody knew the expectation. What expectations do you have for your students? And are those expectations high enough that they can remember those expectations? Write the goal, like the good book says, write the vision, make it plain. Every single day, communicate what the goal is, communicate what the vision is, and set it high. Those are the first four ways in which you can help your students stay motivated. Now, if you know of another teacher, educator, administrator, parent, or mentor that you feel this video will be helpful for, be so kind to forward this video over to them. In the next video, I'm going to come back and share with you four more ways in which you can help your students stay motivated. But until then, I'm Cantus Simmons, and remember this, only one game in life counts, and that's your A game. Have a blessed day. <laughs>